awesome. Awesome. This is great. Thank you very much. It's not often I'm dwarfed by a giant box of kids' chalk, so this is exciting. <laughs> I feel like the world's smallest school kid. This is great. Welcome. How amazing that you guys are here. How amazing that you spent money coming to comedy when our money is so valuable nowadays and everything is so expensive. The price of milk, ladies and gentlemen. The price of the price, price of milk. Milk. You'd think one of those news networks or current affairs shows would have mentioned it at some point, but no, apparently not. And what bothers me even more than the price of milk is that some milk is more pricey than other milk. How does that happen? It's surely milk is milk. Is milk, isn't it? Or are some cows actually superior to other cows? <laughs> Can you drive through rural New Zealand and see the really snooty anchor cows in the top pasture looking down their noses at the, at the low standard Pam's cows down by the road there? <laughs> Go, hey, hey, down there, hey, down there, hey, give me a pee. Give me an A! Give me an M! What's that spell? What's that spell? Yeah, pretty average milk, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Fluff my teeth, would you, Simon? <laughs> I was born in England. My parents are English. I was an English baby. I moved to New Zealand when I was just a baby, so I'm basically half English and half Kiwi. So I like whinging. I just can't be fucked doing anything about it. <laughs> it's good. And when I say I like whinging, I like it. I just like I just like it. I don't love it. I'm not a whinging pom. We've all met them, haven't we? We've all met your classic whinging pom. Some of them live here now. Some of them just come for a holiday. They generally come here to paradise and spend most of their time going, Oh, it's a bit sunny. Oh, isn't it? Oh, the water's wet. Oh, it's... Oh, oh the food has taste. Oh, it's... Oh, it's not like England, is it? It's not like England, no. Anyway, I'm off for me monthly bath now. I've got to wash all the sunshine and opportunities off me. I don't know. Oh, it's not like England, is it? It's not like England, no. You know what is like England? Fucking England. Go there. <laughs> Generally, at this point of the evening, many people, well, many people, about 30% of people aged between 25 and 39 are going, Paul, do you like statistics? And, um, <laughs> yes, thanks, I do. My favourite stat, then my favourite statistic of late, uh, you may have heard it, that Michael Stipe, who's the singer for REM, we're all familiar with REM, you know, they sing that, you know, they're in the traffic jam and all the cars are stopped, and Michael Stipe goes, everybody hurt. He reckons he is 80% gay. <laughs> Not gay, not 80%, quite specific, 80% gay. Which is why they've now, cho they've now actually chosen the song to, because uh, approximately 80% of people hurt. Sometimes it's more in the vicinity of 64 to 77% of people who hurt. Sometimes, but not on a Tuesday. <laughs> I like R.E.M. I do like them. I do like R.E.M., but they, I, I am aware that R.E.M. are a band who are hard to like. It's hard to like R.E.M. R.E.M., to me, are the musical equivalent of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> uh, clearly, they're very clever, but you really don't know what they're saying. <laughs> In fact, I'd probably listen to R.E.M. more if they were fronted by Stephen Hawking, to be honest. <laughs> I'd love to turn up to an R.E.M. gig and hear them go, that is me in the corner. <laughs> That is me in the spotlight. I am losing my religion. <laughs> How upsetting would it be at the end of the gig if it went really well and there was an encore and everyone started yelling, stand. <laughs> Awkward, wouldn't it? Stand. Yeah, har, 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 har. <laughs> like I have not heard that one before. <laughs> I do not need this yet. You guys have been fantastic. I'm Paul Ego. We'll see you soon. Thank you.